up gang welcome back to my channel okay as you can see tonight we are doing a pajama night and it's just for a life update you know your girl being a little bit MIA so I just want to update you guys about what is going on in the life of Cheryl Nicole so sit back Make sure you have your PJs on. here and there just letting everybody in a little bit on you know like what's going on in the life of Cheryl Nicole so what has been going on with me so without further ado I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret are you ready you ready <laughs> okay let's get to it your girl got her apartment in Georgia. And, and, I have officially landed my first job in my field. If you have not watched my previous videos, make sure you go back because I did speak about what my major was at Delta State University when I graduated. And I'm just gonna say it here again for those of you tonight and have decided to tune in with me. My major was healthcare administration. And like I said, it was a business program at Delta State University. But yeah, I'm just gonna put that up there. So make sure you go look once this video is over. So cool. I got my apartment and I have got another job. Like, hey, take money, take money, take money. Okay. <laughs> moment. So, yeah, I got my first apartment here in Georgia, and it's so crazy, guys, because I have been stressed out. If I even try to begin explaining it to you guys, I'm gonna give you a little, a little. Piece of why I was so stressed out and all of that. I'm gonna tell you how many applications it took for me to land a job in my field and how many apartments I looked through versus how many I applied for. And you know, just give you a little rundown or whatever. So, um, I have roughly filled out about 45 to 50 applications here since I've been here in Georgia. You guys know that I have been here since April 1st and on tomorrow, that's like my anniversary for being in Georgia. Georgia okay so that'll be a total of four months since I've been here and I am happy to say that I am just really thankful for where God has placed me and I'm just really grateful appreciative and I'm just so so excited okay so I have begun to be like to get really really discouraged and i got discouraged because it just seemed like i was never gonna get a job in my field and ideally it's not the job but it's the job to open up tons of other doors 
and I'm like really, really thankful for that because one, that's gonna look really good on my resume, and I get to like move up and like kind of climb the ladder because you know I would basically just have an advantage over other people who may be lacking the experiences that I'm like that I'm about to have and stuff like that. And I'm just really grateful for that. And God knows I've been praying to God and I just ask God to just place me in a position to where I just don't have to worry and stuff like that. And I truly thank him for that. And I'm not just saying just because you're blessed with something that kind of eliminates any issues that you may have does not mean that you won't struggle some other type of way in your life. Like, struggles don't always have to be financially or not getting this or not getting that. You can be stressed. You can be depressed. You can feel lonely. You can get discouraged. You just have to really just genuinely pray and ask God to keep you on a straight and narrow path. Because it is so easy to go from here and just start going over here and just losing your mind. That's what I was doing. And, okay, my job, like, oh my God, it's really crazy how it all happened because I applied for my current position six, almost seven weeks ago. And I'm just now hearing from them like a few days ago. When I read the email and I read the text, I was just like, who, me? You want me to work for you? <laughs> okay. Like, I was really feeling it. Really, really feeling it. And my cousin was really excited. She's just like, yes, this is the job for you. I've been praying for, I've been praying for this position for you. This is just, this is it. This is my breakthrough right here. Like, this is my breakthrough. I can see myself a year from now climbing the ladder just impressing the people I need to impress by doing a great job, doing, you know, doing everything that is expected of me and just put my best foot forward and stuff like that. But oh my God, I was like so freaking happy. Like I was so happy. It was like through the roof excited because I'm just like, man, I literally just packed me and my child clothes and necessities and just bounced. I love Mississippi and did not look back. I have visited, you know, just for family reasons and stuff like that. But um, as far as moving back, it's not going to happen because it's like nothing there for me other than family. You know, my life is here now. And I'm glad to say that I'm an official resident of Georgia. I mean, I am official now, but it's official official because I got my own keys. You hear me? Okay, but yeah, like, I've just been really, really amazed. You know, like everything that has been going on, I've just, this was definitely my breakthrough. Getting an apartment and getting a job, another job was definitely my breakthrough. Like, it is definitely my winning season. It is like, so my winning season. And I truly want to thank God for that because I know what it's like to struggle. I truly do. I have been without both of my parents for like, years so you kind of have to keep yourself on a narrow and on the right path along with other family members and stuff like that but me personally when my my parents died that made me want to go harder because I'm just like this is what they will want me to do I mean being successful and you know just receiving an award for all my hard work in the end that's enough to just push me and just make me be like, girl, okay, you need to get it together and you need to stay on your stuff. But yes, it wasn't anything that just made me sad or, you know, just had me feeling down and stuff like that because there's just no point in feeling guilty or just constantly grieving and stuff like that. But don't get me wrong because I do understand that everyone grieves, you know, in their own unique way. But enough about that. I'm truly thankful for a job and I'm so, so thankful for finally getting a place. <laughs> like, I'm really excited about that. So, I'll just give you a, a little, um, 
glimpse or whatever you want to call it before I got the apartment that I have now. So I looked through so many websites. I've looked at thousands of apartments from Buford, Ephrieta, Marietta, Atlanta, Astell, where else did I look? Um, Lawrenceville, Norcross. It's like the list goes on and on and on. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I really, like I really, really, really began to become so stressed and it was just so bad to the point to where I ended up having a moment and I had to go, you know, see a doctor and stuff like that because it was just weighing down on me too heavily. And you know what? I just, the day that I received or the day that I told that I was approved for the apartment that I have now, I had literally cried like a baby. I was like in tears in tears and tears of joy like I couldn't believe it I was like oh my gosh this is it so the whole time I'm like like that night or that day before I was um supposed to go and see my apartment and stuff like that I was just thinking I was just like man I hope it looks how it looks on the internet because let me tell you something here in Georgia, you like when you go and look online, like apartments.com or apartment list and stuff like that, all the apartments be looking like they're luxury apartments. If, for example, like this one apartment that I had went to, I um, took some screenshots of it, saved it to my phone and stuff like that. And then when I pulled up, it gave me hood vibes. I was like, uh uh. Let me roll on up out of here. And then sometimes try to throw in little amenities and stuff like that to make it seem like it's that when it's not. Like this apartment complex had a lake and everything. But no. I like a certain type of people. I like it, you know, being here in the city, I wanted I wanted it to be diverse. And I just wanted this to be diverse. Like I wanted people that kind of represented the, where they live well. If that kind of makes sense, like I didn't want, you know, we just gonna leave it alone. You get what I'm saying? I wanted to be diverse and I wanted to be a nice and safe neighborhood. And it's just that. Okay, so moving on. And I applied for this one apartment before this apartment um, that I, got now and i'm going to go into details about you know when i said that i hope that it looked how it looked online but i'm just going to back up just a little bit and uh tell you about this one apartment that i had applied for so i applied for the apartment and i like didn't get the apartment and stuff like that no re like <laughs> didn't like i just felt like i was i was just devastated when i didn't get it i was just like oh my god oh my god, oh my god. and in a way i felt like that i was settling for that apartment and I wanted it so, so bad. But when I didn't get it, I just felt so devastated. And then instead of being like disappointed and stuff like that after a while, I was just like, you know what? God didn't place me in those, like in that apartment for a reason. So I'm just like, boom. Okay, fast forward to like last week and me getting approved for the apartment and stuff like that. The next day, I finally go ahead and I go and look at the apartment. On the way to see the apartment, guys, like, I was a mess. I was so emotional. I was crying, like, the entire way. I was playing my gospel, and I was just, like, worshiping God and stuff like that because I was so excited. And weights had been lifted off of my shoulders because I really felt like I wasn't going to find an apartment in the apartment within my you know deadline and stuff like that so I'm just like whew, I was so overwhelmed I called my grandmother crying I called my cousin crying she was like 
girl, I thought somebody had died and stuff like that. I'm just like, no, because anybody that knows me, anybody who is close to me knows that I'm going to go hard when it comes to taking care of business and doing stuff that I need. And like, and it's just that I knew that I had a deadline to find me a place and I pushed through. Even though the day that I had got my apartment stuff like that, I had broke down, like I had really, really reached my breaking point, you know, God just opened that door. So I get to the appointment. I mean, yeah, I get to the appointment to like see the apartment stuff like that. And I walk in. Okay, first of all, the entrance to the apartment is like beautiful. I'm surrounded by nature. So that's a plus because I'm a nature girl and so that was a plus for me because i can just imagine like hearing the rain just falling off the leaves and stuff like that or just oh, it's just so beautiful but yeah so we get to the um office and she's like oh yeah blah 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 come on let's go and let's look at your apartment and stuff like that is yours and boom, wow guys i get to the apartment and i absolutely love it i love it and i was dancing i was so excited i wish that i could have hugged the lady but since it's like covid you know it's probably not best to have hugged anybody at this point because you breathe and you got the coronavirus i'm just saying but um i was so excited it had just around just the right amount of space oh the thing that i was so worried about was like having a small bathroom my apartment back in Mississippi had like a nice size bathroom, but this apartment here, you know, it's still big and I'm just so excited. And I was like, God, I want a full mirror in my bathroom. I don't want like a little, you know, and he gave me that. <laughs> he did, y'all. He gave me that full mirror in that bathroom. The right amount of space in the bathroom. It's just perfect. It's perfect to me because it's my home like i get to call this my home our home because it's you know my daughter i get to raise her up in this apartment for a while and stuff like that and i'm just excited and it just felt so homey and like cozy as soon as i like walk in i was just like this is it like it's the perfect spot for us it's clean nice quiet spacious when i walk out on my balcony i can look below and look at the trail that you can actually like walk and exercise on and stuff like that and i'm just seeing like the trees and stuff and i just can't wait to just be laying in my bed and just hearing the sound of the rain until i just fall asleep and stuff like that i was really thankful for that and i just my friend came to view the apartment with me and stuff like that and i just kept telling her like girl you just don't know you just don't know you just don't know like i'm so happy we were both happy like we hugged it out we was just like yes you finally got your own apartment i know i was driving her crazy my grandma crazy myself crazy other people crazy because this journey has been really 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 tough so i have the perfect apartment i have the perfect job and so yeah sorry guys that i went a little m.i.a but that is over. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning into my channel and just getting a scoop about my life and what's been going on. And before you go, I'm going to give you some time to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and make sure you drop